What's up everybody, it's Hera for those who do not know or who haven't been to my channel before. As you guys see from the title, we are doing a Shein haul today and I'm really, really excited because who doesn't like to watch a Shein haul? I have a lot of stuff right here, right here, right here, all over my couch. Trying a little different style for my haul today. So you guys are gonna see the footage over here on the side and I'm gonna show you guys the clothes. For those that don't know, I did just come back from Puerto Rico. I will have the Get Ready With Me vlog up here in the cards for you guys thumbnail over here and it will be linked down below. But turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. I wanna get straight into the video so y'all know how Shein haul goes. Let's get it. So it would not be a true Shein haul if I did not pick up some accessories. I'm gonna show you guys this bag that I got. It is white, it has a strap, the hardware is silver. It opens and it has like pocket inside. I actually have some gum. This is actually really cute and convenient. You can hold it like this under your arm, of course. Hang it off like this, you know, however you like. It does not come with a long strap, but that was okay for me. Um, I definitely was able to pair it with some white shoes and some other accessories. One thing I wanna know about this bag, you guys, it did not have that nasty, fishy, fake leather pleather scents. Okay, this actually smelled like new car leather. So I don't know if it's real leather. I really doubt it because I think the bag was like less than $10, but it's really good. And it's very easy to clean. Like if you were to get something on it, it's very easy to clean and wipe off. But yeah, just has this cute little ruffly look. I also got these rings, you guys. I'm gonna have a video pop up on the side so you guys can really see what they look like. But they are rose gold. I think they came in silver as well. And it's just like a band style with like two rows of diamonds. And the same thing on this side with like one in the center. But yeah, I'll have it um, on the side. I don't really remember my ring size, but it does fit pretty comfortably on my finger, both of them actually. I also got a three pack of anklets. Now, um, one of them already broke. It broke as soon as I took it out the package, like, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. It looked just like this one. Um, yeah, really cute. It's like kind of like a tennis bracelet style, but it's an anklet. It's pretty big on my wrist, and I have it right now on the very, 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 very smallest setting. I got mine in yellow gold. I like to get my accessories in yellow gold. I'm not there with the silver yet. And then this one is like a chain, has like this detailing right here. I don't know if you guys can see, and it has a button that you push in to open it up. I actually did not wear this one yet, but now that I'm looking at it, it also has a regular clasp to open it. So yeah, I guess whichever way is easier for you to take on and off. Yeah, I actually didn't get to wear um, either of these yet, but they are really cute. Um, I was double masked up, but I still wanted to have a shield to wear in the airport. Um, the last time I got on a plane, which is actually my first time getting on a plane, I did have a shield on as well, but I got that one from Amazon. You guys, I actually do not recommend this one. It actually cut my nose right here. Um, the piece inside that like goes on your nose, I'll put it on, I really don't want to, but if you guys can see, this is like as far as it goes. So it really doesn't cover too much of anything, but the part right here, the part right here um, that goes on your nose, it actually cut me. Yeah, it was crazy. I was like, why my nose hurt? Like, am I bleeding? It's non-returnable, you guys. And if you guys order a package that has this, you cannot expedite the package. It literally said when I like went to the shipping, it told me um, this package was not gonna be something that could be expedited. So as part of the accessories, I got two pairs of shoes as well. You guys can see, I got this pair of sandals. I really recommend these guys for my sandals. Um, sometimes I like to get a nine and a half or a 10, but a lot of stores don't actually have a nine and a half. I just like to have my sandals fit to where I have room in the front and the back. I don't like feeling like my toes are sliding off or hanging off the edge. Now the sizing was a little tricky on Shein. What's a US 42 saying is a 10 on one pair of shoes might say a US 40 or even a 41, 42, a 43 is a US 10. I really don't understand why it's like so up in the air on what is your size, but that is why the review feature on Shein is so important, you guys. If nobody reviewed it, if there were no pictures, 
I'm probably not going to order it. And they also have a piece of plastic on the bottom that I took off. And look, super clean. I'm able to actually walk and not slip and slide around. So peel off the plastic, okay? The next accessories I got is a pair of heels. These are also a US 42. They are super cute and they come in the little pouches like this. You can strap these up like many different ways, but they're super cute and the straps are like long you guys so you can tie them up you can lace them up your leg there are different ways that you're able to wear them it does have a square toe with a knot in the center cross over in the back it has a post heel and i really like this because it makes it so much easier to walk in i've of course tried them on with the outfits but i did not get to wear these shoes i took them with me to puerto rico but i didn't get to wear them but i have a whole bunch of stuff for you guys so tops pants swimwear, two-piece sets, dresses, so a little bit of everything, a little bit of everything. The shirt I'm in right now is from Shein, so I'll just go ahead and show you guys that first. It is oversized, like my leg is so far down. It's really comfortable. If you guys see how long the sleeves are, the sleeves come almost to my elbow. It's very, very soft. It's a nice thin material, really nice quality, honestly. Um, it's just really really big but i do like this shirt i think i have three other shirts to show you guys two of which are the same but i got them in two different colors so i got this shirt i did not wear this one so this is like kind of odd but you guys will see it is a crop top so it looks like this and it's one shoulder and then you can sort of slide it around to kind of adjust it cover more or less i haven't said it yet but now that we're getting into the clothes i think everything i got was a size small i think i also got it in white as well like i said it is the same it's like a slinky kind of material but i will say that it does fit a little bit loose so i would say that you're okay to size down unless you have a really big boob so Keep that in mind so yeah this is the next top that i got this one is also one shoulder crop top and it has ruching on the side the strings are super long so if i were to wear this i would definitely be tying them the sides are adjustable of course with the ruch detail it's very very soft it's ribbed also i don't know if you guys can see it's a little wrinkly because these bags have been probably tossed around all over my house the tag that it has is actually over here on the side. So this one you can actually um, probably wear one way or the other. If you guys saw my pretty little thing haul, I got a shirt that was similar to this, but the fabric was much different. This one is more what I was going for with the rib sort of wife beater material. Now moving on to the bottoms. I actually have on the camo shorts that I got. They are super comfortable. They have pockets on the side. They don't have any pockets in the back, but they do have belt loops, a zipper, and a button. I was very skeptical on the sizing. I got them in a US 27. I would say that they do fit very, very true to size. So you don't have to worry about sizing up or sizing down. They do not really have that much stretch in them, but the way they're made, they don't like squish your butt or anything weird like that. So I really like them. I have been looking to get some camo shorts. So I'm really glad I picked these up. The next item is these pants and they are really, really cute. Again, the try on will be on the side. They are flare leg. Now what drew me to these pants is this stuff on the side. So they have like a hip cutout and I thought that was really cute. I got a small. The pants are super stretchy and super thin. So I would definitely say get an extra small because my waist is very small and it already has the cutouts on the side. Like the top part almost doesn't even fit my waist. I don't know if you guys can see, but you see how that's when they look right? It doesn't necessarily lay flat. I did see in some of the reviews, people were saying their strings on the side broke for them or they just took them out. You definitely can cut them out if that bothers you and put like something different inside to tie it up. Because the pants are so stretchy and because they have those large cutouts on the side, the cutouts kind of go down to your hips. I would recommend you size down for these pants just because I feel like it'll give you a much nicer fit in the waist and cutout area. Up next, you guys, is going to be the swimwear. So I am gonna have it on the side over here. I think all of my swimwear I got in a size medium. So the first swimsuit that I'm gonna show you guys is this really cute blue snakeskin bikini. So yeah, this is super cute. I think I wore all of my swimwear upside down as well. So of course you guys will see that. But yeah, the bottoms are cheeky. 
these are the bottoms. It's like this is the front, this is the back. They aren't the cheekiest, but they definitely do go like up your butt. So um, I wore these with a cover up. I wore these with these with this cover up, which I also got from Shein, of course. I think I got this in a size small or medium. But yeah, it's just like this sort of fishnet, not fishnet. Yeah, like fishnet mesh material. They kind of flare at the bottom. They are really cute. They paired very nicely together. They are a little bit short. So I'll say if you're any taller than 5'5", five, five, just keep in mind that they probably will be very short. Yeah, I have six swimsuits in total. The next one that I'm gonna show you guys is this really cute like marble watercolor looking bikini. This one has um, slightly larger cups and they all the cups I think do come with padding inside. You can take it out if you want. Um, it's not really necessary. It really doesn't matter if you're like in the water, but yeah, this one is really cute. It has like this really vibrant color. The bottoms are side tie as well. They are a little smaller than the blue one. If you guys can tell when I hold this like this, you can't really see the back from the front. Um, so yeah, these are a little bit cheekier. I didn't have a problem with any of the ties. None of my swimsuits were like falling off at any point when I was doing water slides, when I was jumping in the water, when I was in the pool, when I was in the ocean. So I think that is a really big thing as well when you're picking out swimsuits. Some of them literally like be full of water and sliding right off when you get out the pool. I actually did not have that issue at all. The blue bikini and that marble bikini came as a set, but I got this separately. Um, I tried my best to match it to the color of the strings on the swimsuit and it matched very well. Technically you're supposed to wear it in the middle so that the ruching is here, but you definitely can wear it off to one side. Very, very, very cute. I also got another bikini set. You see I'm opening it up because I didn't get to wear it. It's pretty much just like the last swimsuit that I showed you guys. It does not have side ties and it does have like marbling detail. It has a lot less white color than the other one does. The bikini is also smaller and this one is a three piece set. So it actually comes with the skirt. If you guys see, it has like a seam. So it's really supposed to be worn this way. But if you don't care about the seam, obviously being in the wrong spot, then you can wear it to whatever side you like. So the next set that I'm showing you guys is also a three piece set. This one is like a pink and yellow with a little bit of orange colors. It's very vibrant. You guys see it's like almost glowing on the camera. Um, these bottoms do have side ties. And if I'm not mistaken, it kind of fit a little bit big. So I don't really know. These ones, if any of the ones that I got, that would be like falling off your body when you get out of the pool it will probably be these but i think that just depends on how you tie them it's not too cheeky but it was like kind of big when i tried it on and very bright still very cute especially because it has this skirt so it really doesn't matter and it does have the ruching on both sides this one is not very um see-through at all so it's not really giving that mesh look but the set is still very cute another swimsuit this is a three-piece set but it comes with a scrunchie. So the third piece is not a cover up, but it's actually this scrunchie. I haven't worn it yet, but I got it. I thought it was really cute. It came in, I think, a blue color and a purple color as well. But yeah, this is the top and these are the bottoms. Super cute. Um, it's giving me kind of bait vibes, you know? That's kind of what I was getting from it. Pretty cheeky. This is like a kind of revealing swimsuit, I'd say. But again, I just turned 25, so I don't have to be family appropriate in my swimwear. And yeah, the third piece is this scrunchie. So I thought that was really cute. And you guys, this is the last swimsuit. I know I have literally like six of them. This is a one piece. I was very, very excited when I saw this on Shein because it reminded me of a swimsuit that I saw on, I think, Naked Wardrobe. If you guys know that store, kind of popular on Instagram. And I think it was called like Orange Dream Sickle or something like that. I was nervous about if it was gonna fit, what was the shipping like, but I know that the quality would have probably, I'm sure, been a lot better than this one. Um, it does have padding in the top, which is removable. I don't actually necessarily like this one just because I feel like the O-ring doesn't stay straight when you actually put it on and adjust it properly. It could have just been the way I put it on when I first tried it, but I really wasn't a big fan of how it looked. I also really wasn't a fan of how the back 
of the bottoms looked, but you know, I think on a different body type, maybe it would have looked a little better, but it wasn't doing it for me. Um, so that's actually all for the swimwear. I did get some lingerie. That's not going to be tried on. It's really cute. It's like a little lace, little dress. So I'm gonna make sure I wear that soon. Next up, I'm gonna show you guys my two-piece sets. This is the first one I got, and this was giving me like safari vibes. It's a three-piece set, so it has these shorts. And it, it, the orange looks so much brighter on the camera right now, you guys. I really wish it looked like that in person. It really does not. And it has a tube top with like a smocked back. So it is very stretchy as you guys can see. I got this in a size small. Some of the pictures were definitely doing it justice because it comes in a few different colors. It's kind of getting vacation vibes from this because of the print, of course. I was thinking I was going to wear it on an excursion. Um, we were gonna do like this cave thing, which we didn't end up doing. Um, so I didn't end up wearing it. I had it all in my head, like I was gonna wear this. I was gonna tie the shirt up really cute because I've been looking for like um, a collared short sleeve shirt set that's like silky. This is not silky. It's 100% polyester, so it's not giving silky vibes, which I knew I didn't expect that, but that was kind of like what I had been looking for. And then I saw this on Shein and I was like, okay, let me try that. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. Um, it's just the color scheme is not doing it for me. Like this right here is bright orange. I'm looking at it and it's very understated and it kind of washes me out a little bit. Next two piece set I got is like a crop top and biker short set. The shorts are pretty long if you not really i mean they're like bermuda short length and it has like a thick band at the waist now i got this in a size small i was hard-headed and i didn't listen okay all of the reviews were like size down size down you're so thin and stretchy size down i definitely could have got away with extra small and this is the top just has like this cute little detail knot in the front the sleeves the, the sleeves are kind of short or kind of smaller than I would really prefer them to be, but um, that's definitely okay. And it has this really cute, I think this color was called apricot. I don't understand how this would be called apricot. Like if you look at a Crayola box of crayons, apricot is not a shade of green. Everything else that I'm about to show you guys is like not as casual. So this is a two-piece set and it's really like for like a night out. Now you guys see this, it's just a ribbed, bodycon skirt. Um, I got this in a size small. Now the top has a lot going on. I can't even lie. So y'all gonna have to just see on the side because it, it's a lot going on with the top right now. But yeah, I, I wasn't expecting it to look like this. Like, first of all, the top you can wear so many different ways. You can do so many different things with it. I was not expecting the color to look like this. It does say mustard. This is a mustard yellow. However, the color of the photos on the model did not look like this. I know my Crayolas, y'all. It's giving very much goldenrod, not so much in real life, but the picture did not look like this color. I really wanted it to be the color of the photo, so it's a no for me just because I wanted it to be that color. It took me a while to figure out how to put that top on, you guys, so have patience. Now the next set, you guys, I'm gonna show you guys. Um, it's technically not a set because I did buy the pieces individually, but I bought them to wear as a set. So over here, you guys will see the top and the bottom as a set. And it's a ruched skirt. Um, it's not really a mini skirt. I think it goes like to around my knees area. It's a ruched skirt. The ruching is in the center. It does have seams on the side. It's supposed to be in the center. So of course you can adjust it for how long you want it or how short you want it to be. And then I got this top. I'm not sure if I'm showing it upside down, but basically it's this tube top and it has the same ruching. So you can wear it like this and like ruch it up or you could turn it upside down and have it ruched. You can actually put this around your neck like a halter. This looks terrible right here, but you guys will see it in the try on on the side. I thought this was very cute. And I think both of these items together were like under $10. So y'all know why we be on Shein. Then I also do have four dresses. So this is the first dress that I will show you guys. Really cute. This is mesh 
This is extremely see-through, I will point that out. And it has a ruffled trim on the hem and around the sleeves and at the neckline. See-through, see-through, that's all I'm gonna say, see-through. It rides up as well, so maybe if you wanna wear something under it, I was going to wear it one night and then I didn't. And the same night I saw somebody in it and then the next night I saw two more people in this dress. So I don't know if everyone was just picking it up for vacation. I haven't seen anybody wear it outside in real life, but it's very popular, which is good. But I'd also say beware because you don't want to just be wearing the same stuff as somebody else. Like you don't want to see anybody out in the same outfit as you. This is the next dress that I got, you guys. It's giving work of art that Fashion Nova dress. Y'all know the dress, the main color is like red and it's like everywhere. They have like a maxi dress, a midi dress. I've seen a romper, I've seen a mini dress. I ain't gonna lie, I have the mini dress. This is actually like a midi dress. I really like the color tones, it's very pretty. I actually thought it was a straight neckline, but it's not. If you guys can see, it kind of like goes up. Super cute, hugs the curves, like, the category is body when you put this on, okay? Very, very cute. And of course, I think it was like seven or eight dollars too. Um, I'm not quoting the prices, you guys, but everything will be linked down below in order for you guys to check out on your own. I would say that you guys can go ahead and get your true size um, for all of the dresses. A small worked out just fine for me. So this one is this bright orange. And again, I don't know why, but my camera is making everything glow in the dark almost. On camera, it's giving highlighter but it is not this bright in person. It's very much understated, but still very pretty. I think the color is like really gonna pop on some melanin. That's why I picked it up. It has this cute bow detail in the front and it is cut out, so your back is kind of out. It's hard to, hard to show you over here, Josie and the Triumph. The back is cut out, very, very cute. It came in a blue type of color that I considered getting. No, it came in black, it came in brown and like another listing. So yeah, lots of options for that. And last but not least is a space dye mini dress. Look at the colors, like it's a halter dress with a V-neck, you tie it in the back and then it has this tie that actually goes like around like a bra and you can tie it in the back, but it's low. The back is low. I love this print and pattern, you guys. You can't see through it, even when you stretch it out, like it doesn't really get thin, but yeah. Super cute. I really, really like this. I haven't gotten a chance to wear this yet either. All right, you guys, so that was the last item. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you, thank you so much. Do me a favor and give me a big thumbs up on my video and subscribe to my channel for more content. Again, you guys, everything will be linked down below in the order that you saw it and all of the items were purchased by my own money. I do not have that Shein sponsor yet, but mark my words, it will be coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video.